Bang. Bang. These knives. I'm Jared, lovely wife Kara, and today we are going to be reviewing the mini bag ladder and mini dome. So we are doing a new format with this video. So at the end, we are doing the need to knows and want to knows about the knife. So stay tuned. Bang. Bang. I'm not good at that. Yeah, we shouldn't keep doing that. All right, guys. So first, I'm just showing you some specs here. These are for the mini Doman. Uh, go ahead and pause if you want to see these, and I'm going to pull up the mini bag letter ones next. So, again, these are the mini domen, and this is the mini bag letter spec. So, if you'd like to see these, go ahead and pause. The Both of these stats came from Blade HQ, and we are going to go ahead and move on to some size comparisons. One quick little note. This is a very tiny cloth. That is not a full-size cloth. We don't want to screw. Yeah, these aren't perception. giants or nothing. Yeah, so these are not big knives on a little. Uh, they're they're little knives on a little cloth. Can you see this? <laughs> if I put it up there. Yes. Go uh, ahead. Another Kaiser, the Kaiser Rogue, and another one, the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog, which is another, um, because this is the Vanguard edition, obviously. So, being the Vanguard edition, there's the minis. And let's get to some knives that you probably do know. This is the mini grip that has smudge on it. Um, it is a very good size comparison. Very, very good. Also, another decent size comparison that people might know is... The Badger. The, the Baby Badger. Badger. It's the small one. One more, since we have it right here. There you go, the bug out. All right, let's get to the knives. Okay, should we do a little quick close-up real quick on these guys? Yeah, yeah, start with the bag letter. The bag letter is, I think that's the N691. It is. Is it? Okay. No, no, that's the 154 no, CM. I lied. Okay, so that one's 154 CM. It has G10 handles, beautiful giant pivot collar. It has um, not so deep carry clip. Uh, standoffs, no backspacer. Very beautiful. It has a a small clip point blade. Very small in the subtle hand. Subtle clip point. Very subtle. It is a very small knife. Um, uh, not it. very small, but it's I a have small tiny knife. Tiny hands, and you know. It's a small knife. It is definitely. <laughs> it's very thin. Yeah. This way. It's yeah. Um, it does have good sized thumb studs, though. Yes, it does. Look so, at these guys. It They're is, the same size as the ones on the Doman, and this is a lot. Well, a little bigger. And um, lanyard hole, yes. And let's get to the domain. All right. Just so you know, too, both of these did come very sharp out of the box. Um, this one basically has the same clip. It's not the exact same clip, but it's basically the same. It has also a lanyard hole, but this one is with it's a G10 right backspacer here. instead of standoffs. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty snazzy. Um, you can get both of these in different colors. This one is the natural G10, JG10. Side note, though, for the colors on the bag letter, the blue on blue is sold out on Blade HQ at this moment. And uh, I believe this, uh, the dome, is only a Blade HQ exclusive. Exclusive. You have to get it from Blade HQ. For the natural G10? For just the... This knife, period. The, oh, the, the Dolman, Dolman, period. Dolman. Okay. Bag letter, not sure about, but I know this, you have to get it from Blade HQ. Okay, um, it has a N690 blade drop point. It um, is pretty comfortable in the hand. Decent for a small knife. It has a decent size handle, you know, for a small knife. It's a little more thicker in the hand than the other one, but this one also comes with the big thumb studs. They look like they are the blade stop, but they are not. It has mm -hmm. an internal stop pin. You can barely see it. You gotta close it all the way and look through this way if you wanna see it, but you, they probably won't be able to see it, but it is there. It does have internal yeah, stop really pins in there. And <laughs> it's um, got a more smaller pivot than the, no the bag leather. The bag leather has a bigger pivot and pivot collar. So, it does have a flow through system still, even though it does have a backspacer. But um, yeah. Let's, let's show lockups really quick on both because we didn't do that. Yeah, both of them oh, have whoa. great lockups. 
so there you go you can kind of see this one's probably about 40 40 50 this one's probably about 40 50. the lock bars on both of these are very comfortable they are chamfered and just very smooth to unlock both yeah, of are. them the um Sorry. the bag letter has a big cutout for your finger so you can easily just um get right to the the lock show them the lock bar right here yeah you can easily get to the lock bar because oh, of this yeah. big cutout it feels almost like a button it's really cool now this one has a cutout too but it's, it's more square. squared off and it is still uh chamfered the lock bar so both of them are very comfortable all right you know what let's get to some action let's do it all right now between both these knives I will say the Doman is smoother. The Doman does have a more smoother action, a more smoother drop, and I know it's not drop shutty, but still, it is smoother. Um, the Bag Letter is very snappy, but you see it has, it's a more lighter blade, so, but very snappy, both of them. And I'm gonna get some more action on the other one. Good? Yes. All right, why don't you just tell me. Um, very very snappy but it's so skinny that it's in a large hand like mine i mean you see how big it is literally this space right here is as wide as my pinky nail that's how skinny this part is it's a little thicker on this side but for this side so it has a very tiny feel to it in the hand um i like it though it's actually kind of satisfying um but yeah, yeah I, this isn't the type of knife that you drop shut. You just, you know, close it with your fingers. Slap shut. You can almost slap shut it. It's not really even no. a slap shutter <clears throat> for this one. The other one, though. Definitely a slap shutter. It's more of a slap shutter. Whoa. So it's a, a lot more, more smoother. Yes, um, yeah. Oh. Let me show them my hand really quick. <laughs> I suck. All right. <sighs> Very snappy. Very, very snappy. It's not drop shutty, but it is a slap shut. Very good. But the action, you can middle finger both of these. This one's a lot easier to middle finger than that one, even though they both have big, um, like I said, big thumb studs. This one's just a little easier with your middle finger, but you can still do it with yeah. that one. It's you not a big just deal. Do it twice, yeah. So, so Three times. not a big deal. Um, but this one, like I said. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um,. Yeah, I don't know why she brings I got her work. phone to work. I don't, I don't do my that. My phone to work? I don't do this that. This is work. But I don't do that. I'm oh, sorry. My phone isn't I'm even here. turning it on silent. You don't see my phone right here. Oh, I found out I want a desk. Look at that. Um, But, okay, now let's get to the want to knows and needs to knows. One need to know for sure is that this knife came with a bent blade. <gasps> That's, wait, That's are we on want to know or need to know? Oh, wait, no, oh, I oh, messed it up. Messed it okay, all, all right, well, we're going to do... Need to know's first. Need to know's first, yeah. Yeah, this came, let me see if I can maybe um, show them. It's it's subtle, it's not bad, you know, and I did um, put it across the stone really quickly. So it's bending, you can see it now, it's bending out this way. Yeah, it looks better if you like, show them like, I'm gonna. long ways. You can see. You it. might not even be able to tell. It's going camera, like this. What it is. No, you can't. Alone. And it looks centered when you shut the knife and you look at it in the middle. But if you look down it with the rest of the knife being straight, you can see it's bent. It is. Yeah. This well, you one, can see how it looks right now in the view. You can see that it looks actually slightly now more we, centered to this or more this way than it is this way. It's not centered, and it is centered. It's just because the ba blade is bending this direction. Okay, now they, um, it still does have great action, um, so it hasn't hurt it at all, but no. we don't know if that came from the heat treat or what it came from. If it came from the tempering, the yeah. cooling, we don't know. No. Um, we could have returned it, but we didn't. It's fine. I did put it across a stone just really quick to see if it was going to be a problem sharpening, and it's fine. So, whatever. Um, what other need-to-knows on this one? There's not too many need-to-knows. These, they're both great knives. Oh, the, the clip, you know, like I said, it's not deep carry, but they're still tight, so it doesn't matter. Um, but that's about it. Now, the want-to-knows is 
These are very... There was no need to know about that one? No. What is there to need to know? I would just say it's one... It's skinny. Uh, it's a lot skinnier than you will expect yeah. it to be. Even watching this video with us saying it, when you get it, you're going to be like, oh my God, it's so skinny. Like I said, this <laughs> part right here is as skinny as my We were going to... Grab that hand. pen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Show them with the pen. We'll just show them. It's a little side. bit fatter. This, this part right here from that... Is a little, just a tiny bit fatter than a pen. And this is a standard, like, see. thick pen. <laughs> now, the back side is, it's not quite too, but anyways, it feels very skinny. Um, but it's still, it's still, like, kind of awesome. satisfying. I kind of like it. I like that, you know, I can grip my fist around it and use it. I like it, though. Well, my, my only need to know on that one over there is just um, the um, action is... A little more, you see you struggling to middle, middle finger. Yeah, point. but that's for the middle it's, finger. It's because it's little. Yours is There's, a lot easier because you got the cutout on that side. Sweet talk. Sorry. It's not as easy to um, fiddle with until you get used to it just because there's not, not as much space to grip. The action is a little bit more of that um, tighter action. I don't know the word. Stiffer? It's yeah, not stiff. But it's, not it's smooth in a different way. And that, we've that been just, flipping it yeah. a lot. So it's, you know what, though? If I want it looser, I can easily, easily put the T8 does in there. Does it stay centered? Nope, it does not stay centered. <laughs> so. But, but, it has no lock rock though, or no blade play. Zero blade play, it stays completely locked up, and now this thing is super fidgety. Like, I mean, it's just like a fidget wonder. Like, it's great, I don't know what that meant. You're blocking my gear. Sorry, but it's, it's, it's a lot more, now I can slap shut it. But it's not centered, so, but you see how now, it's not off that bad, but it's off a little bit. Alright, so. well, let's do the want to know then. Alright, want to know. On this one first, Dolman? Yeah, Alright, Dolman, want to know, or, yeah, want to know. Um, so, one of the things that you would want to know about this blade is that the G10 is textured. This actually goes, this is going to apply to both, so just keep that in mind. The G10 on both of these knives is something you're going to want to know. It has the most beautiful texturing to it, where it still has an overall smooth sensation, but at the same time, it has these grooves in it where it's got some grip. I love it. It's really nice yeah. G10. It yeah. is really, no, really, they really, are. They really are. nice G10. Kaiser does good G10. Yeah, it just, it look, it just, it has really tiny texturing that it, it's grippy, but it doesn't feel rough in your hand, which is awesome. That's something that... Um, I, I love and then the, the other thing you're gonna want to know about both of these is they both and we mentioned it before They both come in a variety of colors and a variety of sizes if you didn't know obviously with these being the minis They do both come in larger versions. Uh, what you got baby? Uh, I where, got you, where are you to, going to cut? Got I don't have nothing else to, um, like, you I don't mean, have a want to know? You don't well, have a good? Well, I already said, kind of said it. They came very sharp. Both of them came very sharp out of the box. That's very awesome. I love when a knife does its job well. Um, the hardware, see, you know, it's Kaiser hardware. They do pretty good hardware. Um, I love this pivot collar. But, yeah, there you go. I'm going to say one more thing. I I'm snappy there. I'm though. sorry this kind of goes back. To, You're going backwards. Well, going it's, it's a want to know. Want to know, needs to know. You can reverse this clip to the other side, but not up, uh, not switching it to tip down. You can't do that. And then this one, it's only a one position clip. It's only right hand tip up. So that's just something I wanted to throw. There in. you go. Let's cut some Bang! stuff. All right. Very sharp. I want to do one. Uh, I'll give you the other side. I'll just do this one really quick, and then you get the next one. Woo. Now no one's going to watch when I do it. No. Nope. No one's going to care. What do you mean? No one's watching. Yeah, they are. No. They're still there. They're still there. Lefty. Ooh. I always like Don't to do cut it. yourself. I like to do it viciously. A bit too vicious. Yes. Oh, you're ripping. No, I'm not. The ripping and the tearing. Yes. That last one was so, so bad. All right, guys. Oh, and also, we got a free Kaiser whistle when we bought the Doman, which was pretty cool. Yeah. They're not offering that um, promotion any longer, but they have been offering a lot of promotions. They probably still sell regarding it. Regarding these two nuts. They always sell these. It is um, a rape whistle, but you can also use it in the woods or something if you get lost. Or... Can I please do one? Yeah, go ahead. I probably just woke up your children, made your dogs bark. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Your grandma started freaking pretty, out. Pretty loud. So, yeah. Um, it does have a little spot or um, a bottle opener, 
bang, and a lanyard hole. And a lanyard hole, so you can make a necklace out of it, That's or you can just make a lanyard put in your pocket, whatever you want to do. It does have Tangram written on it, very does small. It? Um, yeah. You guys can see that. Can they see that? Nope. Uh, I got them. you, baby. Tangram right there. That's and high. there you guys go. So. Hopefully right. you guys like our new format. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.